Welcome, gamer. He's a you look just like every other gamer. Look at you. Aren't you the uh, the new generation? Look, look at this video. Right? This video is the epitome of what politicians and, and parents and fucking people see gamers as now. Ready? You look just like every other gamer. This is bullying at its finest. You should be ashamed of yourself for mocking this, this guy for crying, dude. Hey, bro. Hey, Griffin Gaming. Hey, ready? I have 3,000 subscribers. You can have all your 150,000 dislike this video. You're still gonna get a fuck you from me. Well, what's up guys? I hope you all are having a great day today and we are going to be talking about just something truly special here and this is a video that personally I watched on stream for the first time live and everyone really just seemed to enjoy it so I figured I would go ahead and make a YouTube video on it. You know if you want to follow my streams link in the description. I'm streaming on Twitch pretty frequently. I'll probably be live after this video goes up too. So anyway this dude we're going to be taking a look at here today just completely exposed me as a bully. He completely roasted me and just made me look like a complete piece of shit, dude. Like, I don't really think there's any other way to put it. But this video is like 18 minutes long of just quality content, but I had to cut some of it out, dude, because he talks about The Last of Us Part 2 for probably like, I don't even know, like 12 minutes of this shit, and I feel like I've milked that shit to death at this point, so I'm trying to move on and provide you guys with some different content here, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to go see this video in all of its glory, dude. Like, honestly, this video is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you know, I I don't really want to draw this shit out, man. I think we should go ahead and get into this absolutely fantastic YouTube video that just completely opened my eyes to what a piece of shit bully I truly am. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video from Neobytes. I'm Donnie, your host today. And this video is a special one because uh we're gonna go into another person who just doesn't seem to be able to control uh their anger in the slightest so let's get right to it shall we I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think Dreamcast Guy's intro has ever made me want to fucking run out into traffic with a blindfold on as much as this dude's shit. Like, low-key, North Korea probably has this shit on repeat in their fucking torture dungeons to interrogate people they capture. And they went at him hard. So we're gonna actually watch one of these YouTubers right now, who actually has over 150,000 subscribers, okay? So this guy's pretty popular. And with that popularity, I guess he thinks it's okay to rip into a YouTuber who has literally like 10,000 subscribers and is trying to make his way up and up on the up and, and keep people jolly about this game. So good for you, dude. Good for you. You've made it. Aren't you good? Aren't you great? Don't you... Don't you know what you're doing i mean i guess i do kind of know what i'm doing you don't really become the bullying king of youtube with 150k subs apparently who just shits on smaller channels 24 7 as a cyber bully to them dude but i really just hate the sub argument like anyone who doesn't have anything to throw at you they instantly default to this shit like according to these people you can't talk about anyone with less subs than you and if you dare to talk about someone with more subs you're just trying to clout chase dude like i really hate the sub argument it's such a bullshit argument like why is someone's opinion less valid because they have a certain number of subs. What the fuck, dude? I had zero subs at one point, just like everybody else on this fucking website. Now I know why you have so many subscribers. You look just like every other gamer. Is this why you guys sub, dude? It's because you guys knew I was actually a fucking closet gamer this entire time? This is Griffin Gaming, okay? Uh, he made a new video recently. I think it was published like an hour ago. The Last of Us 2 fanboys are even more pathetic than The Last of Us 2 leaks. Okay, so basically, essentially, this guy thinks that he can call everybody pathetic. Everybody pathetic. But yet at no point in time do we ever see his face in a video. I mean, in all honesty, I kind of wish I wasn't looking at your face in this video. Oh! <laughs> 
But apparently, guys, calling someone pathetic is just going too far, dude. Like, apparently, that's crossing the fucking line, man. That's just too much for this man to handle. Maybe I need to turn down the roast a little bit, dude. Or do we ever see anything about this individual? All we hear on his videos is, oh, welcome, gamer. He's like, his video and intro is sounds like the Wizard of Oz in a fucking loudspeaker just coming in to ruin your day. <laughs> Welcome, game racer. I don't even know what the fuck I just heard, dude. Like, what the fuck was that shit? Let's let's take let's take a gander at this, shall we? I, I'm I'm interested now. I think it's funny that he's interested now, even though we're like six minutes into this fucking YouTube video, and the dude still has yet to get to the fucking point of what this video is even about. Like, I mean, just overall top tier quality. This is why I had to cut some shit out, guys. But I mean, for all of you in the comment section that say I draw shit out at the beginning of my YouTube videos, at least I don't take six minutes to get to the fucking point of the YouTube video itself. Like Jesus Christ, you know I understand that stretching videos out to ten minutes is like required on YouTube now. You don't get any views unless your video is like over 10 minutes long. But this is fucking excessive, dude. Like, you could have carved off this 6 minutes and the video still would have been 12 minutes long. You blame somebody for being overly protective of a product that they've waited for for 7 years? Do you really? Do you, do you really? Hmm? Is it, Are they that bad of individuals to, to keep a hope or keep something alive after waiting this long for something? Just to have somebody like you or somebody like the other YouTubers go out and be like, Well, it's pathetic now, do-da, do-da. Well, it's pathetic now, oh, do-da-da. -da. I just don't even know what to think anymore, guys. Like, if these are the type of people that are gonna keep exposing me, like, I really just don't know how much longer I'm gonna be around on YouTube at this point. Like, this dude is breaking out into fucking song to expose me. He is putting on a musical for us right now. And plus that slow zoom and red filter for dramatic effect. I need to take some notes on how to actually make decent YouTube videos. Like, goddamn. Do I think he's talented? Fuck yeah. Do I think he's a great writer? Fuck yeah. Do I think that he's a great game developer? Fuck yeah. Do I think he's a pretentious douche? Fuck yeah. Oh my god, dude, where was the seizure warning? All those bright colors. I'm like spazzing out in my gaming chair more than a cam girl is when a big donation comes through. I just really don't understand why the fuck this dude spams this Metal Gear Solid alert noise throughout the entire fucking video. Like, up to this point, he's probably used it like 10 times, but like I said, I'm cutting a lot of shit out here that's just really fucking unnecessary because I really don't want to talk about The Last of Us anymore. I think he's doing it to try and keep people's attention, but bro, I think the better way to keep people's attention is probably just get to the fucking point. Because at this point in the video, we're like 10 minutes into the shit and he still hasn't even talked about my YouTube video. Like motherfucker, if you're having problems with people like actually paying attention to your YouTube videos, why don't you try getting to the fucking point within the first maybe like five minutes? Like I don't even fucking know. Like spamming Metal Gear Solid alert noises, changing the fucking color of the screen. I don't really think that's gonna work too well for you, bro. I'm sorry. Let's continue forward. Let's see what else uh let's let's see what Griffin Gaming has to say. Eleven minutes, dude, and this motherfucker has still not even played this video yet that he's supposed to be responding to. I mean, this has to be the greatest YouTube video I've seen in my entire life. But I mean, after seeing that clip, I really just have one question, bro. Are you dumb? Stupid, I'm dumb. Oh. But oh, look at you! Aren't you the uh, the new generation fucking Takashi Six Nine fucking bullshit? Look, look at this video. Right? This video is the epitome of what politicians and, and parents and fucking people see gamers as now, ready? I'm not gonna lie, man. I am pretty honored, okay? Every time Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, every time they think of a gamer, my videos are what pop up in the back of their head. I didn't know they were fans, dude. Now, on top of that, I am the representation of gamers that Karens think about on Facebook. I have to say, it's quite awesome to hold such an influential position, but I guess this guy wants gamers to be represented as grown men with their fucking Master Sword replicas, and Nintendo Switch boxes proudly displayed this wall art in their house, dude, you know? That's what a real gamer would do, not some dumbass who uses a fucking 6 9 clip as a fucking joke in their YouTube video. Takashi 6 9 looking like a fucking Skittle, and in the background, this guy fucking owning it in COD. Look at you, dude. You look just like every other gamer. Or wait, maybe you don't. 
I don't even know, like, what the fuck that was, dude. Apparently, I got exposed for using COD footage and possibly looking like a gamer, dude. Like, maybe I am exposed for being a low-key gamer at this point, guys. I'm evolving. The longer I'm on the fucking internet, the more of a gamer I become. But anyway, you know, apparently me using COD footage was a big fucking no-no. Like, the first time I've used COD footage in probably, like, four or five months at this point because I was just enjoying Shipment 10v10 and was, like, dicking around on it. I think that was actually, like, something I recorded while I was live streaming. But anyway, apparently it was to show myself owning it in Call of Duty, even though, like, most of my YouTube videos either have Doom Eternal footage, Vermintide, CSGO Surf, or something else. I use his background gameplay, but apparently this was a big deal, dude. Maybe our boy here is just a little bit jealous that Call of Duty is not on his wife's boyfriend's Switch that he has on the wall back there. So now, this is the part where I get pissed. You fucking knocked this guy for crying about a game that he's excited for in a time where we're going through a fucking pandemic where the world is shit, where there's nothing to be hopeful for. You want to take away a little bit of excitement, a little emotion from a guy? Who the fuck are you, dude? You look just like every other gamer. Well, I think you just answered your own question there, dude. I'm a fucking gamer. You should be ashamed of yourself for mocking this guy, this guy for crying, dude. Hey, bro. Hey, Griffin Gaming. Hey, ready? I have 3,000 subscribers. You can have all your 150,000 dislike this video. You're still gonna get a fuck you from me. You're still gonna get a fuck you from me. Holy shit, guys, we're dealing with a true Chad here, like an absolute badass, dude. Like, oh my god, I don't even know how I'm gonna recover from this shit, man. He zooms in on his face, has the red filter over the screen, puts like some basic-ass PNG flames at the bottom, too, sticks up both middle fingers, and just says, Fuck you, dude. You know, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna recover from this shit, dude. This guy is a complete and total badass in every single way. Like, holy shit, guys, but in all honesty, I don't think I could have made this shit any more cringe myself if I tried. Yes. You're still gonna get a fuck you from me. For literally, literally making fun of a dude who's fucking showing emotion about a game he's excited for. Do you know what world we're living in now? Do you know how much shit is fucking, the news is shit, people are shit, and you want to fucking disgrace somebody for showing some bit of emotion? Who knows where that emotion was coming from psychologically? Maybe this guy's got fucking shit at home going on, and, and or whatever. Maybe something's going on with him where he's he's crying because he's like, fuck, man, my life is so fucked, but at least I got The Last of Us Part Two to be happy for. And if I'm happy for it, there's people that fucking rip into it for, for being happy for it. Okay. Dude, I would fucking cry. I have no fucking doubt, my dude. You know what? Fuck it. I'll make the video and I'll fucking cry. I'll shit you out. Snot, boogers, all that. I'll do it right on the fucking camera. And I will, I will not be embarrassed one bit. One bit. And anybody who makes fun of me for it, hey, dude, fuck you too, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I would actually be embarrassed for you in that situation because people who cry during trailers are just literally pathetic, bro. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, you are literally crying over marketing material that solely exists to sell you something. Like, if you're that much of a sheep at that point, I feel no fucking pity shitting on you. Star Wars, Star Wars soy boy. Oh, and what's, what's, what's cool to you? COD? Is that, is that the, is that the thing that's really cool? Look at you with your pink gun. Oh, you're so great. I don't know, man. I think this guy's just jealous over my waifu weapon skin and body pillow weapon charm at this point. And he fucking... He puts a video of him crying, dude, with a... Dude, this is fucking bullying at its finest. This is bullying at its finest. If this is what people consider bullying in 2020, like, Jesus Christ, it's a good thing they didn't remaster the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I don't want to fucking live in that world where that multiplayer is fucking ruined by losers like this who are afraid of a little bit of shit talk, bro. Like, if you actually think this is unironically bullying, that it's time to step out of your safe space, bro, and take off that emotional bubble wrap your parents put on you at birth. Dude, if this guy, if this guy... Taja is a piece of shit in real life, and he's the worst person on the planet. Guess what? You mocking somebody showing emotion about something that they have full enjoyment in makes you just as bad.
wake up. I mean, what can I say? This video is absolutely outstanding at this point. Like, apparently, if I made fun of the worst person in the world, let's just say Hitler, dude. Apparently, I don't agree with Hitler, so I make fun of him and mock him for what he's passionate about. Apparently, that makes me literally worse than fucking Hitler, bro. This video is absolutely outstanding, bro. I'm really surprised you don't have more subs than me at this point. Imagine that. This video, this title of the video should say, The Last of Us 2 makes everybody realize how pathetic I am. Not even, and even more pathetic than The Last of Us 2 leaks. <laughs> That's what this video should be titled right now. How dare you, dude? How dare you fucking mock somebody crying like that, showing emotion? What's the matter with you, bro? This also makes me so sad because I just... This guy's making fun of people crying the whole video. Alright, I'm not gonna watch any more of this. I mean, you just really have to love in this entire 18 minute video this guy uploaded. He got two minutes deep into my own video and basically summed the entire thing up as me making fun of people crying, which, you know, I probably did that for a total of 45 seconds in a 17 minute video, you know, perfect straw man there to wrap this video up. But like I said, the link to this video will be in the description. I would highly advise you go check it out if you want some quality ass content to laugh at because this entire video is so fucking cringe. Like if you thought the little edits he had in there were really bad, it's so much worse when you watch this entire thing we had a really good time actually watching this live on stream so you know feel free to stop by my twitch channel i will be live after this video goes up i've decided i'm gonna do that i don't know i may get drunk bro like honestly i may turn it into a drinking stream i'm not entirely sure yet but either way stop by my twitch channel link will be in the description and in the pinned comment you know my streams are pretty lit i just answer questions play video games we watch youtube videos and just have a fun time bro so just stop by hang out maybe drop your boy some bits because you know i'm really gonna need your financial support after getting a exposed this badly dude you know i'm depressed give me money but anyway guys with that said i do want to thank you all so much for taking the time every day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time Bye.